welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll be going to explain three dirichlet's condition for existence of fourier transform so here i have mentioned all three conditions first condition is the function should be as absolutely integrable if the function is not absolutely integrable then fourier transform of that signal is not existing so first condition for existence of fourier transform by dirichlet is function should be absolutely integrable second condition is there must be finite number of maxima and minima in the given function so this is what second condition so whenever you have any function it should not have undefined number of maxima and minima it should have finite number of maxima and minima and third condition is there must be finite number of discontinuities in the given function so if signal is satisfying all three conditions then existence of fourier transform is possible means one can say we can have fourier transform of the given signal but if these three conditions are not getting satisfied in that case we cannot have fourier series expansion of any signal so i'll give you simple example like see if i have one signal f of t and if it is looking like this right so here when you have this function it should be absolutely integrable so when you integrate this it should have finite value it should be less than infinite means it should be having finite value so when you calculate this integration means when you calculate this area with respect to time it should be finite and if it is finite one can say it is absolutely integrable now second is it should have finite number of maxima and minima so if you calculate total maxima see here there is one maxima here there is second maxima here there is third maxima here there is fourth maxima similarly here there is minima here even there is minima here even there is minima so it should have finite number of maxima and minima then only we can calculate fourier series of any signal and last one is there must be finite number of discontinuities so whatever discontinuity which is there with signal it should be finite if it is finite then we can calculate fourier series of it if it is unidentified in that case we cannot have fourier series of that signal so ultimately three dirichlet conditions that is there for fourier series calculation one is signal should be absolutely integrable second is signal should have finite number of maxima and minima and third is there must be finite number of discontinuities in function so that we can have fourier series of given signal so there are three conditions and even these three conditions are there for existence of laplace transform and similar conditions are there for z transform so dirichlet condition for existence of fourier transform that is identical to laplace as well as z transform so these three conditions that one should know for existence of time domain to frequency domain representation thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions definitely based on it in future i'll make videos which will be solving your queries thank you so much for watching this video